Right, I've been tagged by the Sarge. <laughs> um, I've had a dump and this is what come out. My God. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? The things people carry on their person from day to day. Um, I don't really want to beat around the bush on this, but um, this is exactly what I carry every day. Um, I don't tailor it for different times of the year. I don't tailor it for if I'm going out um, to the pub. Um, well, I would leave the knife at home if I'm going to the pub, if I'm honest. That will not be going into any pub. Everything else will. So um, that's basically it. Um, there's loads of things I could have put on there um, and pretended to um, <laughs> carry with me if I went. But I thought, no, I'll be honest. You know, some people might laugh because I haven't got this, I haven't got that. But do you know what? I don't really care. Um, this video is responding to the tag. And if any of you guys... Um, like some of the stuff that you see on this video and um, thinking about getting it for yourself, then yeah, great. I mean, I've been trying this um, system for about a year now. Um, the latest edition is the Paracord bracelet, but to be honest, that pretty much superseded the bracelet I had anyway, but this one's got a little whistle on there. So I'll just go over it as quick as I can really because time is precious and all the rest of it. Um, mini suspension P. Um, given to me by RPM Idaho. As you can see, I've um, taken it all out completely to show you guys exactly what's in it. And for its size, it's just so cool, it really is. I love it. It's a bit weighty, you know, for a keychain item, but if I was to get something like that made of titanium or something, it's going to cost an absolute fortune. And for me, it's fine, no, no problem at all. Um, moving around it quickly, um, we've got um, a monkey fist and basically that's um, a 20mm steel ball bearing in there and obviously it's um, slip knotted so you can extend it. So for a little defence item, I prefer to hold it in between the knuckles and it's going to give someone a bit of a headache, <laughs> only for self defence now. Moving along, let's start from the top, we've got the Fenix um, E05 just absolutely made up for that. It's a friggin' tough little torch. And as I said in previous videos, I've, um, I've dropped it in some water in a puddle. Oh my God, I've got it wet. And it works underwater, it's fine. It's got O-rings on there. Dropped it down the stairs, on concrete stairs. And mate, it's pretty impressive actually. I think it's got a single um, AAA battery in there. I use Energizer Lithium because they last a lot longer than other batteries. So that's been in there since last Christmas, so coming up to a year now. And um, yeah, she's still going strong. Use it pretty much all the time in the winter, um, getting in and out of vehicles and stuff if it's somewhere dark. Got my Spyderco Grasshopper, razor sharp, as you would expect. Got a new little item, which I've only had this for a couple of weeks if I'm honest, so um, I'm not sure if I can call it my everyday carry, but it's been on there since the second I've got it really given to me by Jedi Knight of the Woods and I'm a friend of his, uh, I think it's Alex, All Outdoor one I think it is, um, he made it. Uh, it's a nice idea, it's just a ferro rod and it just goes inside there. Got a little rose seal on there so it keep it all nice and um, nice and watertight. And there is room, if you can see there, probably got about 8 mil on the bottom. If you really wanted to, you could put, um, I've got a text. <laughs> if you wanted to, you can whack some um, tinder or something down there. So I suppose I could put some of that in there and win it if I wanted to. That there, if you can see it, that small little key, that's a handcuff key, because you never know. And that basically is a V cutter, just two like um, scalpels, pretty much riveted together. So that's just gonna zip through seat belt or something like that. Um, moving along, we've got, um, oh god, what's that called? It's a peanut lighter, that's right, yeah. It's the titanium one with a flat base. So all you can do is you can just unscrew it and just should spark her up. There you go. And to be honest, I don't really use it. That's proper extreme emergencies out. And it's got an O-seal on there. So tight, nice and tight, as tight as it can go. And you're not going to lose any um, vapour through there. And you're going to pretty much have a, a flame when you need it the most. 
hardly anything mechanical in there. You want to try and avoid stuff that's like mechanically based because if it fails, you've had it. Something like that. It's just a flint. It's pretty much fail safe. Uh, we got um, a Nacme, really strong actually, um, whistle. ABS plastic, I think it is, so it's nice and tough. Obviously, a few keys and stuff or various things. I've got the Night Eyes. Um, I forget what these are called now, the keychain EDC thing, so you can just clip everything on there, keep it all organised. And I've just got um, an S bean in there for whenever, whatever. Everyone should have one of these, they're cheap, but I'll tell you what, that has gone on every single flight that I've ever been on. <laughs> I've had that, ooh, about 12 years now. And um, yeah, it's gone through customs. Perfect. It's got a nice razor blade on there as well, so. Very strange, but it's always something good to have as a backup. Um, moving along on my wallet, it's nothing fancy, no max position or anything, it's just a nice, soft Italian leather wallet. Just like a bit of quality, and uh, I just love real leather. And in there, nothing fancy, it's just um, four co codamol tablets and a band aid or a plaster, just in case. Address book. In that address book is um, everyone that I consider. A good friend, most of them actually on YouTube um, are in that. So if something goes wrong with YouTube or Google Plus really takes the piss, I'm still going to know where everyone lives. And that's pretty much their home address and work address in there. Invaluable. I think everyone should keep um, paper stuff because when crap like this breaks, you should always have stuff written down. Move along to the smartphone. Let's get inside the phone and show you what I've got in there. As you can see, it's just a standard um, smartphone. This one's a Sony uh, Xperia SP, if anyone's interested. I've got the SAS Survival Handbook in there. Maps on there, flashlight, um, but the best one, which I think is overlooked, St. John's Ambulance. The St. John's Ambulance app should be a must for everyone. If you can see on there, uh, if you're in a panic, um, personally, I'm okay with first aid. I've done the course and I'm a first aider at work and I've done first aid in the forces, blah, 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 blah. But if someone needs to sort of get some information quick, you're pretty much covered in there. You're really, really good with the kit. So for example, someone's bleeding. Is it a minor bleed or a severe bleed? You get the idea. And it just takes you step by step throughout all of the things to do. It's all totally easy to understand. That is the best thing of it because you don't know the age group of someone who's going to actually need to use this and to help someone out. I mean, I might be unconscious. Someone might just grab my phone, open it, see the app on there, and it would just walk them through it nice and simple. An absolute lifesaver. And the best thing, the best thing about this app is they don't want any information from you. Everything's free. You haven't got to sign up to nothing. And personally, I've only got about three or four apps in total. Um, a lot of them I looked into, but they want to know your location, your information, blah, blah, blah. And personally, you know, I'm quite um, fond of my um, private and personal information, and there's no way on God's earth am I gonna give that to some, I don't know who, who offers these apps. So, yeah, that's me, call me paranoid, but I can give a shit at the end of the day. My information is up for me to use and to think and worry about. I'm not going to sell out to no one else. Which is pretty much why I'm a big um, anti-fan of that Google Plus. But that's another story. <laughs> so that's it. Nice and simple, basic loadout. I'm not carrying loads and loads of stuff. This is an honest thing of what I do carry. Um, I could make up loads of things, but I'm not like that. What you see there is what I carry. So, free tags. Oh, let me see. Who am I going to tag? Well, first of all, it's got to be my good friend Mick at Animal Tendencies. Let's see uh, your dump, mate. <laughs> um, across the pond, um, a good friend of mine who is really, really cool on EDC gear. Especially stuff that um, most of us guys in the UK just don't get to see until much later on. That's RPM Idaho, Robert. Great guy. And last but not least, oh, who should I think of? I think Sandy at Jack Claw Knives, or Wiltshire Man is his other channel. So let's see what um, Uncle Sandy carries of him on a day-to-day -day basis. 
So I hope you enjoyed the um, very brief um, EDC dump out, load out, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And um, that's me done. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay fun.